Okay, another Monday morning. A little bit of stormy weather, which can be nice yeah, to spend time inside, indoors, but also inside of yourself. <laughs> um, so I want to start with just a short breathing, um, breathing routine. For this, you're welcome to come into butterfly legs, having the soles of your feet together and the knees a bend and drop down at your left side and your right side, to your left and to your right side. Um, allow your lower back still to be soft and relaxed in that position, so gliding you as far away from you. Um, and then place your right hand your right, on your heart and your left hand on your belly. And find a position that allows your shoulders and the elbows still to be relaxed as well. So if, they, if the arms are not long enough and they have to slide off to the sides a little bit, that's totally fine. And then check in with your neck and try to keep the neck very long here as well. The reason why we start with a hip opener is because that whole position kind of demonstrates or is, um, puts us in a very open position, which can feel vulnerable, but also very nice because it's really like um, saying with your whole body that, you let it, that you are ready to let go and you're ready to receive. And that's what we do here before we start in our yoga practice. And this cause it can feel a bit vulnerable. It's nice then to get the comfort of your own breath, safety that comes with every inhale and exhale, that security that comes with drawing inside and knowing that you're in control, where you let your energy flow, where you draw your attention to, maybe away from a state of fear and anxiety. So I invite you to follow the breath of your mind's eye. Maybe the physical eye is closed by now. You really feel how that breath is streaming into your left hand first and how that drivers up into your right hand, into your heart. May that breath might be loaded with some loving energy for yourself for the situation, for the present moment, for the things the way they are. Form of acceptance. Because we can't really control what is happening around us, outside of us, but we surely can control how we react to those situations and what it does to us. We allow it to be pulled into that stormy twill, be twirled around and head washed and whooshed around. Or if we remain still calmness, maybe even some form of positivity, whatever it is. I will seal my lips just for a few breaths here. Yeah? So you can really concentrate with all your awareness, undivided awareness on your breath and the way it travels into your left and into your right hand.
finish one more circle here. Fully exhale in your own rhythm, in your own timing. And glide your hands to the outer thighs. Use your hands to bring the knees back together. And then tuck both of your knees into your chest. Coming out of that open position, tucking into a very small ball and hugging yourself. And place your right hand on your right knee, left hand on your left knee and start to circle your knees around opposite way. One knee goes clockwise, the other one goes anti-clockwise. And really try to make those circles coming from your hips, make them slow enough as well that you really feel all the sensations in your hips and the difference of the ankle when it feels like opener and maybe a bit tighter. Go the other way around. And then next time when your knees up at your chest, stay there and pull them close into your chest once more, feeling a nice stretch. Maybe you are ready for your clothes. Then let go of your left leg, pull your right knee into your chest only. Stretch that left leg long out of your hip. And then pull that left leg over to the right side, coming into, sorry, pull that right leg in. Mm, I'm confused, you're coming into a spinal twist. So just say right leg is bent, then it comes over to the left side. <laughs> I think you know what a spinal twist is. Just do it on the side, I cued it first. Try to stay flat down through both of your shoulder blades. Have your face soft and relaxed. Take another breath into your belly, up into your heart. Please let that breath go. And then let's switch over to the other side. So roll back onto your sp spine, hug that knee into your chest once more. And then lift the other one up into your chest, stretch the other leg long out of your hip. So it's maybe almost like a morning stretch through your whole body. And then release and drop over to the opposite side to find your spinal twist on the other side. Starting to bring movement back to the rotations of the vertebras on top of each other to hydrate them, to stimulate blood circulation around the muscles, around the bones, for the muscles around the bones. Now the breath into your belly, up into your chest. And then release and roll back onto your spine. Bring both knees up into your chest once more, only to rock yourself up effortless into a seated position. Wonderful. And then swing your legs around and come on your hands and your knees for tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide apart to have a nice firm base. Have your knees underneath your hips. Send your sit bones back in space. Allow your belly to drop with belly to drop with control. Glide your shoulder blades down. Lift the ground of your head up high. Find your cow stretch. Inhaling here into the belly, into the heart. Still, even in that shape, we can really feel our inside up connecting with all the feet. And exhale out, curl your tailbone under, lift your stomach up towards your spine, draw your front heart into your back heart, and then tuck your chin down towards your chest, press into the earth even more than you think you can, not just holding but actively pressing, and then release again, send the sit bones back in space, shoulder blades down, lift the ground of your head, you hold it just for one breath at a time, with your exhale move straight away into your cat stretch. Last one here, inhale, pull your heart through and up. Mm, wonderful, exhale out, warming up the spine, mobilizing the spine, feeling each vertebrae moving, isolated. And then from here, find your way up into a down dog. Feel free to do a detour on the way to the down dog. Maybe you want to really a little bit to side, from side to side. And also, once you're up there, still feel free still to move around as well. Instead of just holding it in stillness, shake your head from side to side, say yes and no. Shake your butt from side to side, say no with the butt as well. Mm, bending the knees. And then take another breath here, again, into the belly. 
into the chest, open your lips and exhale out. Wonderful, and start to walk your way to the front of the yoga mat. Mindful steps, grounding with the heel first if you can, and then bringing the toes down after. The very top, hold opposite elbow, let your head drop. Lean a little more into the toes maybe than you've, you have before. Sway your body from side to side. Drop your hands back down to the floor. Let's do a roll up here. So with a round, it's fine, but feel how you support that roll up with that section of the belly upwards towards the spine. So you, you really round like in a cat stretch on the way up and there is that support, the front body into the back body on the way up. Wonderful, yes, nice. Take your time here and then roll your shoulder blades back and down. Head is straight, lift your arms over the sides, come all the way up, look up towards your hands. Inhale, hands down to heart center, exhale, ground through your feet. Let's remember our breath. Inhale, stretch your arms long, open your arms to the left right outside and then fold over your legs here. Bring your hands centered. You can be on your fingertips. Actually, only the left hand. You can be on your fingertips if the floor is too far away. Then start to bend your left knee. Bring the right leg as straight as you can. And then lift your right arm all the way up. And look into your right hand, coming into a gentle spinal twist. But this one, we actually allow our hips to move off alignment over to the left side. So it gets a nice IT band stretch here as well. So feel into that. Feel how you can pull your right outer hip back in space. The left knee is bent. There's a little bit of support underneath the left fingertips, but it's actually more like a push off the floor. So there is a lift from the heart up towards the sky. Take another breath in here. Exhale out. Drop your right hand down where your left hand was. And let's do the same thing over on the other side. So right knee bends, left leg comes straight. Allow your hips to shift over to the left side. Pull your left out over to the right side. Pull your left outer hip back in space. And come into a nice spinal twist, but this twist actually ripples all the way down into your leg as so well and stretches your outside leg long. And then release again, bring your left hand back down to your right hand. Shift into your left foot to free your right leg, then step with that right leg all the way back. Run this lunge here, elongation through your whole body, inhaling, downward facing dog, exhaling out. Start to lift with your heels, then round the spine, ripple your way to the front, find a plank position. Inhale, find strength through that plank, like internal strength. Really feel how you got this, and then lower your knees down, bend the elbows to the back of the room, drop your chest, chin down to ground. Come all the way onto your stomach for baby cobra, press the top of the feet into the floor, lift by engaging through your back muscles. Take another breath in here. Exhale out. Wonderful. And from here, bring your left hand just a little bit in front of you. Left elbow is still bent. Then press through your left hand and lift yourself up a little higher. But don't have that hand too close as well that it hurts your lower back. But from here, we're going to roll onto our left hip bone anyways. So just hip over. So my arm is kind of in front of my shoulder, in front of my left shoulder, but it's close enough that I explore a nice side body stretching for my left um, lateral side. So I almost feel like, okay, I could come a little closer that I get more of a curve out for my left side body, and it is a bit more intense. And I invite you to do the same, explore. That arm is locked, and the shoulder can actually relax. So this is one of the positions where we allow the shoulder to track up to the ear. And then just chill here for a moment and really breathe into your left side. Feeling that wonderful stretch here for that muscle between hip and rib. Supporting it with your breath. Maybe listening to the sound of the rain if it rains on your end as well. As a rem reminder, oh, it's wonderful to stay cozy with yourself, turning inside. Nice, and place your right hand back down in front of you. If you lifted it, bend your left elbow and roll back onto your spine. Bring your left hand 
underneath the elbow as well, and then find your way back up high, coming into a downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up high, inhale. Bend your right knee, roll the right hip on top of your left hip, squeeze your buttocks to press the hips over to the right side, but stay grounded through both of your hands. Take another breath in here. Maybe press the left heel just a little further down as well. Then stay in that open hip shape. Stretch your right leg long and circle that right leg all the way around to step on the outside of your right hand. Elongation here with that wider stance. Right leg is outside, left foot is um, center. And then press through your left foot and bring the left foot on the outside of your left hand as well to come down into our yogi squat. Drop your butt down between your heels, lift your heart up between your shoulders, use your elbows to press the knees into the same direction as your toes are pointed and then lengthen your spine with your inhale. Feeling into the groins, into the adductors, maybe moving gently from side to side. When your heels are grounded, try to keep them grounded even if you're swaying from side to side. Nice. And then release. Bring your hands back down to earth. Come into a forward fold to lift your butt up to the skies. And then heel to walk your feet together, coming into a forward fold here. Now you bend your knees, sweep your arms back and around to come all the way up. Stand nice and tall. Inhale. Look up to your hands and draw your hands down to your heart center. Samasthi Hiti. Exhale out. With your next breath in, lengthen again through your whole body. Lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale out. Fold over your legs. Let's come into a half lift. Hands against your shins or thighs or knees or they can remain, you can stay on the floor as well. But lengthen your spine so that press against the legs or down into the floor. It's almost like a Help her to take off of the whole torso and release and fall back over your legs. Shift this time into your right foot, step back with your left leg, stream that leg all the way to the back of the yoga mat and gently with control tap it down. You'll engage it for your whole body. Inhale. Find your downward facing dog. Exhale out. Lift your heels up high. Draw your chin towards your chest, lift your spine up towards the sky first and then round your way to the front to find high plank. Inhale, lower your knees down, bend the elbows to the back of the room, shift your heart forward first. So again, the takeoff position, looking over the glove and then lower chest chin down. Then come all the way up, find baby cobra. Inhale, press through the top of the feet, press through your hand, keep the elbows locked. Keep your neck happy. Keep your face soft and relaxed. Another breath in here. Hold it as you exhale out. Wonderful. And then glide your right hand now in front of you. Maybe you know now better which position is good for you. And start to press into that right hand. But feel almost like you're doming your way up. Like there's a bubble, a balloon underneath your armpit. And you fill that up. So there's a vacuum happening. And then release and drop over onto your right hip bone. Then check again if it's the right position, because maybe your right side feels different than your left side. Sometimes you have different um, ten tenderness in our side bodies as well, and one side would be more open than the other. So maybe you need a different setup on that side, and that's okay. Acknowledge it and work with it. Maybe close your eyes here to really feel inwards. To have that mind's eye wide open, to feel and to allow your, all your energy to be drawn into that right side body. Take one more breath in. And let go of it, exhale out. With control and with support of your left hand, roll back down onto your stomach. Center yourself on the yoga mat, hands underneath your elbows. Use your knees to come back up high into downward facing dog. Exhaling out. Lift your left leg up high. Inhale. Roll your left hip on top of your right hip. Bend your left knee. Open your hips. Uh, open your yeah, hips to the left side, but keep your shoulder girdle facing down as good as you can. 
Use your hamstring off your left leg as well to pull the heel in a little closer. Press your right heel down. Push through your hands. Take another breath in. With an exhale, straighten your left leg, but stay in the exact same shape. And then release and step your left hand on the outside of your left foot on the outside of your left hand. Wow. And then elongation here from the heel all the way to the top. Pointing the knee already in the same direction as your toes. And from here, press through your right toes. Just get the right foot on the outside of your right hand. Come into another set here of Malasana. Set your bum down between your heels, hands in front of your heart center. Lengthen through your spine. Take another breath in here. Mm, exhale out. And glide your right elbow down on the inside of that right knee. So you snuggle your shoulder on the inside of the knee and spread your arms apart. Reach with your left arm around your lower back. With that right arm around your knee and maybe there's a bind ready for you. Do you know where we went? Yeah, good. Roll your left shoulder up on top of your right shoulder, but try to stay connected with the left heel in the ground as well. Still pressing into that area. Wonderful, then release. Come back to center, hands back down in front of your heart. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So I glide my left elbow down on the inside of my left knee. Stay connected with your right heel, but lift your right arm up high. Reach around your lower back, and then maybe that left hand can reach for that right arm. Use it to roll your right shoulder a little higher. Take another breath in here. Exhale out. Then re release both of your hands again. Place your hands down between your legs. Lift your sit bones up towards the sky. Here to walk your feet back together, forward fold at the front of the yoga mat. Now you bend your knees to sweep arms back and around, coming all the way up, standing nice and tall. Inhale. Hands down to your heart center. Exhale out. Split your arms to the left right outside of your hips. Sit down on the chair behind you. Scoop through water around your ankles and come all the way up into chair pose. Have your core engaged. So pull your belly button towards your spine. Squeeze your butt. Try to have your bicep really beside your ears. Take a breath in. And then with an exhale, there's a full release. We swing our torso over the legs. We, in, we lengthen our legs into lace your fingers behind your back and drop over your legs in that bind. You're gonna repeat that two more times. So inhale, come back into chair pose. Bring your hands, brush the, the outside of your ankles coming all the way up high. Inhale, bicep between your, beside your arms. Exhale up, <laughs> let it go, find your bind and drop over your legs. Last one, go again. Stroke the outside of your ankles to come all the way up high. Inhale. Exhale, forward, drop, interlace. <sighs> Wonderful, nice. Then soften your elbows, hands back down to earth. Step back with your right leg, so free your right foot. You reach it all the way to the back of the yoga mat and come down. Find the floor underneath. From your anjali leg, your way up high. Come into a crescent lunge. Inhale. From your open up, come into warrior two. Exhale out. Reach with your arms to the left, right outside. Bend your left knee, maybe a little more than you prefer to, to have that femur really parallel to the floor. Then place your left forearm on top of your left side. And reach with your right arm all the way over to the front as well. And then prepare to stay here a little longer. So really ground and settle in. Feel how you can connect even more through your feet by spreading the toes further apart. And then from here, stay in that shape you are, but start to surf your right arm, coming across your face, across your belly, across your hips, back up high to the sky. Inhale. Let's go for a second round. Exhale. Warm around. Surf a circle around, really feeling into all the um, edges of the circle. Coming back up high, inhale, and then stay here for another moment. Pull that right arm along. Really feel how your core is supporting here. So you can let go now of your left arm and reach with that left arm all the way over to the right side without any change through the rest of your body. Hold it, hold it. Another breath in. Wonderful. Then spin your arms like a big cowboy with both of your arms. With that, straighten your left leg and then sit down on top of that right heel 
coming in Skandasana. The shoulder maybe comes in already, so you can spread your arms out here again. And it's almost like that right arm is like a, a hurdle or a, a gate that helps you to avoid that the knee collapses on the inside. So use your right arm to keep that knee in a happy place. Left arm comes up high. Another breath in here. Exhale out. Wonderful. We keep on spinning the same way. So now come um, the same direction. So now come all the way to the end of the yoga mat. Frame your right foot. Elongation here. In here. Exhale, pick your right leg up high and lift it up high into the sky for a three-legged down dog. Then bend your right knee again. Open the hips to the side. Move your shoulders halfway towards the front. Lift your left heel off the floor. Pivot on that left foot. Heel is coming over to the left side. And then step that right foot with so much control down for a wild thing. Behind your left knee. Lift your hips up high towards the sky. Look up towards the sky. Inhale. Take another breath in. And then with an exhale, sit your bum down. So keep on spinning the same direction. So we're back to the front, but we're sitting on, the, on our buttocks. Left leg is straight, right leg is bent. And you're probably a bit off the yoga mat, which, <laughs> yoga mat, which is fine. You can either shuffle yourself back on top of it or you just stay at the, on the edge of it. Everyone got that? <laughs> Lift your arms up high. Inhale. Exhale, lean over your left leg. And then have that right knee with your right elbow. So turn the palm away from you and reach all the way around. And then maybe this, the left hand coming around, finding the right hand or a shirt. So we're in another bind. Pull your heart all the way to the front. Inhale. With an exhale, fold back over your left leg. Another two here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop back down. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Yeah, exhale down. Really feel how the strength of your abdominals help you to pull your, your face and your, your chest more down and down to that left thigh. Another breath in here, just holding it. Stay low. Exhale out. Wonderful. And then release, let go of your bind. Lift your arms back on top of your shoulders. Inhale, go over your left shoulder back, stepping back into downward facing dog. That's it, wonderful. We're still, now we're again facing the end of the yoga mat. Lift your heels up high, draw your chin towards your chest, roll your way to the front or <laughs> to the end here. Maybe without your knees, up to you, your practice, find low plank, and then find full cobra if you feel ready for it. Take another breath in here. Exhale out, find your downward facing dog. Wonderful. Start to lift your right leg up high, inhale. To step to the front between your hands, exhale out. And you lay your way up high, come into your present lunge, inhale. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Sink a little deeper. Try to um, scoop the shoulder blades under. Lift your heart up high. Wonderful. Squeeze your butt. Hold it for a little longer. Then reverse your warrior. Bring your left hand down along your left thigh. Reach all the way back. And we, here we are again with our lateral side stretch for the right side body. Wonderful. Stay in that shape. Let's start now to stretch the right knee long. So come out of it, maybe lean back even more. Nice, wonderful. And then from here, drop your shoulders down in front of you. Bring your hands back down. Turn your right toes back in and come into wide-legged forward fold. Come back on your fingertips. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to come back down. One more, come back up high. Inhale, stay here. And then walk your hands now to the left foot. Back to the front of the yoga mat. Ten toes are still looking to the side, but my ten fingertips are looking to the front. So you get another nice elongation here for your right side body. Your head is somewhere relaxed, so maybe don't look to your hands, but more down between your elbows. And then bend your right knee to elongate through the right side body even more. 
to drop even more or to stretch even more into that right side. The right hand definitely has to ground more than the left hand. The left hand can relax you a little bit and the left elbow is softly bent, but the right side gets a full on massage. Take another breath into it. Exhale out. Beautiful. And then from here, release and come all the way back to the front of the yoga mat, framing your left foot with both of your hands. Elongation here, inhale. And then step back into a downward facing dog. Exhale out. Lift both of your heels up high. Draw your chin towards your chest. Roll your way to the front. And from here, let's come all the way down onto the stomachs. Exhale out. Untuck your toes. Bring your hands beside your hips. Lift up, find Shalabhasana. Lift your legs off the floor. Lift your heart and your, your head off the floor. Try to keep the legs together. Then also float your arms off the floor. Palms are still facing down. And with that um, movement of the palms facing down, you roll the shoulder plates around the back of your heart. And you open up through your collarbones and the front of your heart. Take another breath in here. Enjoy that oh, engagement of every muscle rather than finding it efforting. Really use it to feel lit up <laughs> and then release. Come back down. Push through your hands and your knees and just come into a kneeling position here for a moment. Sitting down, palms facing up to dive into the after effects of the practice. Ah. I'm straight there through all the layers into the core of it. Feeling all the feelings. Feeling your heart racing, making you feel alive. Beautiful. And from here, come back up in your own time with as much time as you have to take up into down dog. Beautiful. And bend your knees, slightly look to the front of the yoga mat between your hands and hop or step is also an option to the front between your hands. Very softly. Fold over your legs, smile, bend your knees, sweep your arms back and around to come all the way up. Standing nice and tall. Look up towards your hands. Inhale. Hands back down to your heart center. Split your arms. Bring them to the outer hip. Bend your knees. Brush the outside of your ankles. Come all the way up. Find your chair pose. Inhale. Hands down to your heart center. Exhale out. And as soon as you do that, you might find it way more comfortable than chair pose because we kind of switch off any immobility in our shoulders. But that might mean that you can maybe sit a little lower <laughs> as well. <laughs> so go ahead. Important is just that the bum is always lower than the heart. So we don't want to create depth by bowing down. We want to create depth by bending hips and knees. And from here, twist your torso over to the right side. Place that left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Use your right hand to press back into the left hand. And with that, I roll my ribs all the way up high. Feel how your knees are want to slide, want to slide, but you are avoiding it. So keep them still aligned. Take another breath in, really feel that wonderful compression, that squeeze, that internal squeeze, massaging your organs, mm. rinsing everything out that shouldn't be there. After a night's sleep, our detox is still full on um, working hard. So let's help that um, detox. Um, function by squeezing it out, all the toxins <laughs> you don't want to have there, hang longer, and then release. Come back up high, arms are all we had. Inhaling, exhaling, bring the heart back to center, maybe sitting a little lower, and then come over to the right, left side with your right elbow reaching around. Get into it, press your left hand down, into your right hand. Roll your right wrist up to your left wrist. <sighs> Still sitting low with your butt, knees are in one line. 
and then release. So legs are talking to us. Stay here for another breath in. Inhale, then exhale, let go. Hands down to earth, straight your legs. Ah, wonderful. Free your left foot, step it all the way to the back of the yoga mat. You engage it from the left heel all the way to the top. Press and lunge, find your way up high. Inhale, warrior two, exhale out. Right leg is in front, left toes are looking to the side. Come from here, a little lower if you can. Then place your right forearm on top of your right thigh. Reach with your left arm all the way to the same front. And remember, we want to roll our ribs up to the left ribs. And then from here, keep on circling that arm. Across your face, across your belly, across your hip, back, high, inhale. Release. Wonderful. Go again. Hmm. Last one. Go all the way to the front. And then stay here. Really feel how your chest, your heart, your hips, everything is facing the front. And you have so much core control that you're holding yourself here. So now the right hand comes over to the side as well, offering something here on your hand. Keep your right knee bent. Take another breath in. Hold it as you exhale out, you're doing great. And then big, big circle, card me with your arms. And with that, switch over to your left um, heel, foot, and sit down on that heel. Bring your left shoulder on the inside of your left knee. You reach with your right arm all the way up. Wonderful. And then might, if you want, might maybe come into a bind on that side as well. So swing your left arm around, right arm comes around your lower back. Roll that right shoulder on top of your left shoulder. Be charged through that right leg and make the toes and the kneecap looking up towards the sky. So there's an external rotation coming from your right. Take another breath in here. Exhale out. Well done. Then release your hands. Keep on moving the same direction where you came from. Framing now your left foot, looking to the back of your yoga mat. Elongation from the right heel all the way to the top of the head. Inhale. Three-legged down dog. Exhale out. So launch that left leg straight away back up high towards the sky. Have your hips square to start with. Your shoulder build square to start with. And then start to bend your left knee and feel into the transition where you lift your left hip back on top of your right Mm, and this feels so good and wonderful. <laughs> Open through the front of the hip. And from here, start to um, lift the right heel up. Move your shoulders halfway to the front. Pivot on that right foot. Sink the heel down. You have so much core control. So the lateral side is stretched a lot. It's now working hard for. So we can float that left arm up high and then gently step your left toes down. Once you have support again with one arm, and two feet on the floor, start to open up into our thing. Ah. And then slowly release, so still facing the back. Start to scoop your hips even more under and align with your right foot and your right shoulder and then sit down. Wonderful, left knee is bent. If you wanna shuffle yourself back on top of the yoga mat, go ahead and do so. Lift your arms up high, inhale. There are two fist distances between the left foot and the right thigh that helps that I can lean forward and snuggle my left shoulder on the inside of my left shin and then come into a bind here. <laughs> right hand finds the left hand or right hand finds the shirt. See where you go today. Lengthen through your spine with every inhale. With an exhale, drop just a little lower. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale out. Last one with a really visible undulation through your spine. So inhale makes your heart rise, makes your gaze rise. Exhale to drop back down. And then stay here. Duck down, feel your abdominals helping you to pull you. So a little lower down to that right knee as well. Wonderful. One more breath in here. 
Let that breath go. And lift your gaze again over your toes of your right foot and through your hands. Lift your arms back up high, inhale. Move over your right shoulder and step back into a downward facing dog. Ah. Lift heels off the floor, round your way to the front, find your plank position, inhale. Low plank, exhale out. Inhale to come up into Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg off the floor, inhale. Step to the front between your hands, exhale out. And your leg your way up high, inhale. Open right arm to the back. And with that, you open your chest, find your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Wonderful. Stay in that wonderful side body stretch. And then intensify even more by straightening now that left leg as well. So you can even lean more over that right leg. And then drop your left shoulder over your right foot and come all the way down into wide leg forward fold. Both feet are now pointed to the side. Hands heavy, dropping down between your legs. And inhale, lengthen your spine and wavy. With that, you have that reminder as well to lean more into your toes than you normally drop back over your legs. Exhale out. One more time. Inhale, come into half lift here. And drop, drop, drop. Really let it all triple into the earth. Inhale, come back up high. And then walk your fingertips back to the front to. In front of your right foot, all ten fingertips are facing now the front and they are in one line. So the left arm has to reach a little more than the right arm. Then dive back down. The movement of the torso is almost or is similar to the movement in a down dog. We kind of push or sink our chest to the side, to the left thigh in that case. But feel how the, the Torso sinks down, and with that, your head drops on the inside of that left arm. And with that, you really get the wonderful opening through the lateral side, through your legs, your tricep, your armpit of your left arm. Oh, yeah, sorry, you can bend your left knee, of course, as well, to intensify. <laughs> Another breath in here. Let that breath go. Wonderful, then from here, push yourself back to the front of the yoga mat. Turn your right foot back to the front, step your right hand back over. Elongation, inhale. Find your downward facing dog, exhale out. Lift your heels up high, draw your chin towards your chest, ripple all the way to the front, bend your plank, inhale. Low plank, exhale out. Come all the way through and up. Cobra, and then lower yourself back down. Come on to your stomach. Bring your hands beside your hips. Lengthen your spine first, and then with that length, start to float off the floor again. Heart, head, shoulders, and legs. Then bring your arms in as well. This time, interlace your fingers behind your back. And then lift, maybe in with, help, with the help of that butt, lift yourself a little higher, pulling towards your heels. Then bend your knees and see if you can touch your fist with your heels. Not holding it, just touching. Closing the circle by touching, having everything engaged. Take another long deep breath in. You got this. Come on, only one more breath, holding it. Ah, wonderful. So good. <laughs> Come straight into here, repose. To feel into all those stimulations you're setting for yourself. <sighs> Especially when you have an intense back bend, I always find it reviving when I, I move out of it. It's like the same satisfaction you get when you have one of those full body stretches, yawns, when you get off bed. Really, every muscle was just oh, quivering, engaged on fire. 
And then there comes a form of calmness and satisfaction after that that makes you feel instantly calm and connected and warm. <laughs> Stay seated on your heels. You can blink your eyes back open again. Lift your arms over the sides. Place your right hand between the shoulder blades. Reach for your right elbow with your left hand. And pull it centered. Try not to work too much out of your lower back. Keep your ribs together. Keep your gaze lifted. Take another breath in here. Then release, let go of your arms. Maybe hug yourself right on top of your left arm, reaching with the shoulder blades around. Draw your, your elbows down to your belly button. Draw your chin down to your chest. Then lift your elbows again up as high as your chin is and come into eagle arms, wrapping the forearms now around as well. Lift your fingertips back up towards the sky, drop your shoulder blades down. And then let's curl into a ball once more, but stay in your eagle arms, maybe lowering the forearms all the way down in your left. And then release, let your eagle fly, swing your arms back over your head, inhale. Wonderful, grab your left elbow, place the left hand between your shoulder blades. Not working too much out of your lower back. Try to keep your head aligned with your spine, sitting really on top of it. Another breath in here. Ah, let your mind's eyes sigh. Ah, wonderful, then release. Um, so left right outside, left elbow on top of your right elbow. Give yourself a nice tight hug. With an exhale, fall into your lap with your own heart, with your own arms. Come back up high, keep the elbows on top of each other, lift your elbows to chin height and then wrap your forearms around. Lift the fingertips up towards the sky, drop your shoulder blades down to earth and then bow down to earth. Drawing everything in, tucking into a ball. Release, come back up high, let your eagle fly, reach with your arms overhead, inhale. Hands back down in front of you. Come up into downward facing dog. And then from here, we're gonna jump into seated. So look towards the front, bend your knee, hop up high. Up in the air, cross your ankles and gently stop yourself by putting the feet back down and with that you can gently soften your back. Wonderful. And stretch your legs out in front. Both legs actually straight, straight. <laughs> Lift your arms up high over your shoulders. And then find your forward fold seated. See if there's something you can hold on to. If you don't feel like you want to hold on to and you want to just keep it very passive, you're invited to do this in that case as well. Stay here for four or four breaths. If there are more sighs you want to release with an open mouth, please do so. And then with your next inhale, start to lengthen your spine, start to look over your toes. And bring your hands now behind that right knee and pick that right leg up only. Left leg stay straight. From that position, change into holding the foot. And then bring that right knee more on the outside of your right um, shoulder, armpit. So you can draw that knee straight behind you if it's in your ability. If that means you have to round, then rather have it just underneath your armpit and go, don't go there. So depending how open your hips are. And then feel free to wiggle around here. Wonderful. Then bring the heel a little closer down towards your sit bone, still in that position. Drop that right knee over to the right side. Wonder which ankle is best. And then draw the foot over on top of your left thigh and sit here in half lotus. If this is too much and you feel like pain in your knee, 
just change into seated pigeon pose where we create that figure four shape of our leg instead of having half lotus where the foot is in the front of the high, um, left hip rest. Then wherever you are, lift your arms back up high, inhale. You can exhale, come into another forward fold. Nice, and then slowly release. Come back up high, catch your foot once more. Hold it again in the back of the knee, then bend your left leg in, walk your knee centered, and then step your right foot over that left knee. Wonderful. Lift your arms up high, inhale. Look over your right shoulder, place your right hand behind you, and see if you can maybe bring that left elbow on the outside of it, of your right thigh. And then we have one more twist with one more bind as an option. The bind would be bringing the left hand from the outside through that triangle you're creating, underneath that right knee, and the right arm reaches around the back and this meeting that left hand or sure or something. And with that, you can deepen and the twist and bringing out the spine a little more. If it's not available for you to stay with elbow on the outside of that knee, that's totally fine. Be aware of your right sit bone, have it grounded. Be aware of the length of your spine, have your heart lifted. Stay here for one more breath. Exhale. Release your bind if you went there and let go. Wonderful. Stretch both of your legs out in front of you once more. Hands this time behind you, leaning back in your sun launcher and just shaking the legs out. And then flat circulation back into it and allowing your spine to like relax. Sometimes it feels almost like um, when you break and then you go off the break again in the spring. The, the spring, the feeling, the feeling of the spring, that's what you feel in your spine. Oh. <laughs> and come back up sitting nice and tall. Let's move over to the other side. So reach for the back of your left leg. Then change the grip and find your left foot. And then from here, pull the knee on the outside of your left rib cage, underneath your armpit, or maybe even behind, but my torso moves, moves forward at the same time. So we have two opposite directions, of course, within, to really open up through the hip. If you want to wiggle around here a little bit, go ahead and do so. And then bring your left heel down to your left sit bone, so the knee is locked and safe. And then from here, come into half lotus, crossing the foot over the thigh, or see the pigeon pose, finding your figure four stretch, um, figure four shape. Lift your arms up high, inhale. Come into forward fold here, exhale out. Nice, and slowly release. Pick that left leg up again, hold it by the back of your knee. Then bend your right knee underneath your um, bum and step your left foot over the right knee. So the, the right knee almost has to be pointed straight forward. So I'm pulling it very center. That helps me then to come into that twist a little deeper. Lengthen your spine first, Place your left hand behind you and I bring the right arm all the way around. And then there would be the option as well to sneak with the right arm underneath that left thigh coming from the outside to the inside. And then the left arm reaches around and maybe finds that hand. Try to keep your breath still. 
calm and slow, even though there's not as much space. Another breath in. Exhale out. Wonderful. And then release. Let your legs come straight again. Hands behind your head, your spine. Does that release of the spring after it was compressed a lot. Wonderful. And then find your way down onto your backside for Shavasana. If there's something you can do to make it more comfortable or to make it cozier or warmer, please go ahead and do so. And if there's something you would like to do before you find your full release because you feel like there's still some tenderness somewhere in your body, then please do so too. Come straight there, don't miss out on it. You can dedicate those last two minutes to yourself. You wouldn't change anything in the world if you would start now already to pick up your to-do list in your head. Really, it doesn't benefit the purpose or it doesn't bring any more efficiency to the actual effect so you might as well just stay here for those two minutes and enjoy it to the fullest. way back to your physical body, to your room, to the things around you. And then start to bring movement back to your body, taking even more in of the external things. And then when you're ready, curl into your ball one last time and roll over to your right side. Rest your head on your arm. And then find your way up into a seated position. Maybe there was an intention that came to your heart. If so take it with you to Seal your practice and with that sealing that intention and manifesting it. Sitting cross legged, having the spine nice and tall, holding the spine long. Now your intellect down to your heart wisdom. Thank you very much for joining, for sharing your beautiful self with, our, with us this morning. Namaste.